Hey guys, Nardia here. So we are minivan life now, officially soccer mom. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the van and some of the features that I like and the reason why I chose it. Um, we are Honda people already. So this is gonna be what, our fourth or fifth Honda that we've owned. We like them because if it's a vehicle that you don't plan on keeping for a long time and that's gonna hold its value, um, one of the reasons why we choose Hondas. So if you have, Oliver's playing music loud. So if you don't plan on trading in a car anytime soon or changing your car, it doesn't matter. Oliver, he wanted the Chrysler Pacifica because it just, to him, the outside looked better. To me, the Honda looked better on the outside, but it didn't have some of the features that I wanted. And again, um, I don't plan on being a minivan mom forever. Uh, I'm gonna switch out the car as soon as the, the kids, the younger ones, turn to rear uh, from rear facing to front facing. So this is another reason why I chose the Honda because usually the average vehicle depreciates about 60% once it leaves the lot um, over five years, and a Honda usually goes about anywhere between 16 to 35% of depreciation. So again, if you're not looking to switch out a car, go whatever van you want. If you are. This is definitely a good pick for you guys. Yeah? Huh? Mini man, daddy? Oh, you got a new haircut? Yeah. You're fresh? Feeling fresh? Yeah. Swagalicious? No. <laughs> okay, guys, so for me, one of the first things I like is the power doors. Right? And you can see. You just push the button on the remote and boom, there they go. Right? Um, and you can also turn that off if you don't want to. There it is. So this is the seat from the second row that we removed and I'm gonna tell you why we removed that. But I'm just gonna take it out real quick. Okay, so see the, the trunk is pretty deep. Ooh, love that. All right, so you got a little cargo space right here. You can put something in. Then you got the vacuum. So you can vacuum up the kid's mess. Then it's an easy. Wow. Do the other one. Let me see. Cool. Yeah, he's messing with the key. You gotta lower the headrest. You have to lower the headrest. Pull, pull. There you go. Boom. Nice. It's a lot of room back there. Which car keys are those? And then. So here we are, and this I'm going to get to right here, guys. So as you know, we're going to be adding another car seat, and we remove the middle seat. This way, the kids can get to the back easily, because do you see when there's two car seats, how close it is to the seat that's in front? And again, this seat is even pulled forward, so if you have a tall person sitting in the front, it would probably be touching. In our other car, it touches right so let me show you guys this real quick this is the lever right here when you have the two rear facing car seats you just pull on it and push the seat over and boom they have all the space to be able to go in the back once they get in the car to get to the back right because we're going to remember we're going to have rear car facing seat and then that one's going to be rear facing seat as well right and once they come out, you could push it back. Um, if you don't want the baby in the middle right here, you could push it back where it's directly behind each seat. Just like that. And again, just easy, just grab, pull, and then it locks in place. And in the chairs, you know, they can recline. The kids like that. Well, Naomi was already sitting here, so it reclines here. And the door is closed. You can just push the button, close the door, boom, power door. Or you could just simply just grab it and then it will go. 
just like that and snaps in place boom locks all right so i'm going to show you guys a few of the front features that i like and then get to too much the about rear. these features because i think there's other videos online that can help you guys um go through all of these push buttons and you know like i like the stuff that's on the steering wheel quick access whatever is going on on the dash here you'll be able to see it in front of you so you don't have to like look to the right if you are um the person driving so let's go to here we have all the apps in the front so you're going to push the home button and it's, it's pretty much set up like a mobile phone where you can just swipe and move it you can grab the stuff and rearrange so if i want to i can move this here just like that and put it where i want to put it here we go let's let's do this one move it around all right and once you're done moving anything around customizing how you want it to look you can push done you can also customize what's up here as your frequent list so if you want your frequent list to be mine says this says phone navigation radio say i wanted it to be bluetooth audio you could just push it up there hold on and move it there all right just like that and then you push done so this is another one that I like it says cabin watch you're gonna be able to see the back there where the kids are look right so you can see um, what's going on in the back if somebody's hitting somebody <laughs> mommy all right then you can if they're if you're trying to talk to them especially when they're in the far back instead of you yelling or if they're watching a movie you can push the cabin talk and it says mic is on and if they had head the headphones on they'll hear whatever I'm saying in the front and it would mute um, whatever they're listening to on the uh, entertainment system no. all right okay so for the rear entertainment um system you can use blu-ray disc which is pretty nice um, but no one really uses is the disc anymore so i am going to show you guys how i'm going to set it up for the kids because we take a lot of trips hold on uh, they have pbs kids app here rear apps so you can see they have hdmi blu-ray pbs kids video iheart spotify happy tv this is nice we have this in on our ruku and the kids like these so obviously you're gonna need um internet to connect to some of them and i'm gonna show you that what's going on in the back so this is how it looks in the back with the pbs but again i was telling you guys you need to be connected to the internet for that to play but we're not going to worry about the apps. Oh, yes. And it comes with a remote controller. Right? So they can change the channels. And see the apps back there that they can choose from. So this uh, feature here. it This is the how much further, right? So if we were going somewhere and I put it in the GPS. They'll be able to see the car. And how much distance they have left. And things like that and it gives them a little timer how many miles for the little the smaller kids it will show them like um, little things that they can understand and for the older kids like these miles would change to numbers and things like that so I think that's pretty neat so this way they don't have to ask me are we there yet you guys know they ask like a million times right are we there yet how much further this drive seems like it's forever and we take a lot of trips we like to do a lot of stuff as a family so this is one of the reasons why we wanted the entertainment system in the car all right so i'm going to show you guys how first I'm gonna thing i'm going to show you guys it comes with ac outlet 
and you can still charge your phone um, with the power outlet back here you will see the HDMI and USB port we are concerned with the HDMI um, I have my fire stick and I'm gonna set that up okay guys so I have the fire stick set up um, HDMI and it goes to the power there I have the remote control for the fire stick so then I'm gonna go back to home let's go back to rear entertainment um, how do I get back here back okay sorry back HDMI and then it says HDMI is on screen and there it is the fire stick is loading up so here we are all right I don't you know I don't even need to tether from my phone for here because I'm in my driveway and I can pick up my Wi-Fi so that's why it's loading This at this point it's in the whole car. It comes with headphones, so I just haven't turned them on yet. But it comes with two pair of headphones. Um, then, if you don't have the wireless and you lose it, it comes with the headphone jack, so you could just plug it in there. Or if you have multiple people in the car, where you can give them the wireless and then plug in. I'm sorry, this thing is getting blurry. Okay, yeah. So if you have multiple people in the car. You could just plug in headphones and then they can control the volume toggle right there. Um, you guys see all these cup holders. There's two back here, two on this side, one here, one more on that side. And then there's three cup holders in this middle seat that was here that I took out. But um, again, oh, and then more cup holders. So you got plenty of cup holders. All right, so uh, what did I miss? Oh, you can adjust the climate from the back where you are. So there's the climate control, right? You can even download the Honda Link app and control the audio and things and see the maintenance of the car. So if you want to know like how is the fuel, you can even start it from in your house with the Honda Link mobile app. Um, maintenance of the vehicle in the app a lot of things that you could do in the Honda link app it also has a Honda cabin control app right but um, we're not gonna download that that's for like if someone's in the car like the kids and they can control the uh, climate back here with that and the entertainment system with the app on their phone but I'm not gonna put that on their phone but I think that's good so all this space back here let me lean back oh i didn't show you guys this seats fold down let me i'm missing stuff so <laughs> if you didn't want to take out seats you can fold it forward and then the seat comes and they can still step to the back once they were outside that way so you don't have to remove the seats for people to get in the back all right and that's pretty much how it's set up. Yeah. Our new car, new ride, mom ride. Naomi, I'm in the back. Naomi's coming in. She can still squeeze in through here. Close the door. Come on in my, my, my little theater. I'm in the movies.